welcome to the Institute of Anthropology at the Johannes Gutenberg University in Mainz, Germany. My name is David Rosenkranz and in the next minutes I want to introduce a new primer prediction software named EasyPack. You may ask why yet another primer prediction tool? While there is an abundance of primer prediction software, EasyPack is the first software that combines primer prediction based on multi-sequence alignments with an exhaustive testing, including reference mapping, of degenerate primers. In general, this is most interesting for scientists doing research on homologous genes across multiple species or paralogous genes within one species. Ordinarily, this kind of research requires PCR amplification and de novo sequencing of hitherto unknown homologs or paralogs, respectively. In this context, the designing of suitable PCR primers is typically based on multi-sequence alignments. However, primer design can become a challenge if the degree of sequence divergence demands the use of degenerate primers. The first problem is to test the characteristics of degenerate primers, which actually means that each possible primer sequence has to be assessed separately, which is particularly crucial during the assembling of proper degenerate primer pairs. The second problem is that a growing degree of degeneracy will boost the probability for mispriming, especially in consideration of the ubiquity of multi-copy transposons one must preclude that primers match to this highly repetitive elements. Here you can see the EasyPack user interface, which is divided into several sections. The brown section, where you can paste your alignment or alternatively select a file that contains your alignment and adjust some PCR conditions. In the green section you can adjust the primer parameters and in the blue section you can optionally choose an arbitrary number of reference files and adjust some parameters for the mapping process. Depending on the supplied references and settings, you can assure that primers match only once to the genome in question, don't match to transposable elements or map to diagnostic sites of the paralog you want to amplify. The workflow starts with the creation of a consensus sequence based on the input alignment. There is no limitation in sequence number or length and both factors have virtually no influence on computation time. Primer candidates are deduced from the consensus sequence and each candidate is checked for proper sequence conservation according to the applied parameter values. Then every possible sequence is tested separately if it's consistent with the applied settings. By default, mapping against reference files is performed with the SegMap algorithm, which was originally developed to efficiently map microRNAs to genomes but it is in general well suited for mapping any kind of short sequences to large sequences and which is considerably faster than BLAST. There is only one limitation of the SegMap algorithm one have to keep in mind. It will not map to degenerate reference sequences. So if you have a reference file that contains one or more degenerate sequences like consensus sequences, you might consider to use the internal EasyPack algorithm, which can map primer sequences to consensus sequences, but on the other hand works considerably slower. Finally, verified forward and reverse primers are assembled to pairs if delta TM and PCR product size do not exceed the critical values and both primers do not form primer dimers. Here you can see the graphical output, which contains the alignment, the consensus sequence, a bar that indicates sequence conservation and a bar with further sequence annotation. Besides stretches of simple repeats, it also shows parts of the alignment that match to the reference, in this case a collection of transposable element sequences. Regions that are excluded for any reasons by the user are also indicated. Here we can see the suggested forward primers followed by the target sequence. Internal duplications like tandem repeats will also be identified and rejected as possible primer target. Finally we can see the position of the suggested reverse primers. The textual output contains some additional information like the number of candidates that passed each test and of course a list of suggested primer pairs with PCR product size, 
primer length, primer coordinates within the alignment, melting temperature, GC content and the degree of degeneracy. Primer pairs will be sorted in ascending order according to their combined degeneracy. Thank you for watching this video. I hope EasyPack will make your life a little easier and save your precious time. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact.